Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a POP3 email account in a Gmail interface. I'm already logged into Gmail, as you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once you're there, uh, if you come up to the upper right hand corner, there's a gear uh, for settings. Click on that icon, and then down in the middle, it'll say settings. Click on that. When you come to this screen, you'll notice uh, several menu items across the top here. Uh, you'll want to come over to Accounts and Import. And then down towards the middle of the screen, you'll see uh, a section that says Check Mail from Other Accounts. So you want to click Add a Email Account. And you'll get this uh, dialog box that pops up. And so we want to enter in the email account that you want to check uh, on your corporate account through this Gmail interface. So mine is mark at doggonemold.com. So I've entered that and you want the full email address including the domain name. So I've got mark at doggonemold.com. You use whatever your email address is. Click next. And then on this next screen it defaults to import emails from my other account pop3 and you want to leave it on that click on the next button and then here you want to go ahead and put in your full qualifying email address so in my case it's mark at doggonemold.com and then my password that's whatever password has been assigned to you for your particular email account um, it is a pop server and that will be mail.doggonemold.com and for the port settings you want 995 so select that from this drop down list it defaults at 110 but we want 995 because that's a secure port leave this first checkbox unchecked it's uh, leave a copy of retrieved messages message on the server we don't want to do that because that'll end up filling up your inbox on the server we want it to always come to your Gmail account and remove it from the server so leave that first one unselected on the second one we want to select that because we want a secure uh, connection and then I also recommend clicking on this third one label incoming messages and uh, you want it to be whatever your email address is so that when you launch your Gmail webmail or Gmail email interface um, you'll be able to see that uh, versus your regular Gmail account in your uh, left hand uh, navigation and I'll show you that when we're finished um, so we want we want to leave this last one unselected it's archive incoming messages uh, there's no need to select that at all I click on add account it's going to go out right now and shake hands with the server and it says okay email account has been added uh, the default is yes I want to be able to send mail as mark at doggonemold.com in my case so yes I do want to be able to send email as well from uh, Gmail not just receive so leave that at the default at the top there and click next and then here you can put whatever you want to put in there. Uh, I'm going to use my full name um, and it's for this email address and then this checkbox here you want to deselect that. Uncheck that because we do not want to treat this as an alias uh, because this is going to be a standalone POP3 account where I can check send and receive email from mark at doggonemold.com next I'll click on uh, next step and then this is my outgoing server settings and for the outgoing we want it to be mail.doggonemold.com and for the port we want that to be 465 not 587 which is the default the username is going to be again the entire email address and in my case it's mark at doggonemold.com and then the password that's been assigned You type that. Uh, the def default is uh, secured connection using SSL which is recommended and you'll want to leave that there and then you want to click on add account. 
the next thing that's going to happen is is that Google's going to want to confirm that that's really you. Um, so what you'll need to do next is go to your webmail on the server to check for this confirmation code that Gmail is going to be sending you. In my case, they're going to be sending one to mark at doggonemole.com. So I want to click on this. I'm at doggonemole.com. At the end of that URL, in the address bar at the top, I want to do doggonemole.com slash webmail. Hit enter. Brings me to this screen. Um, I'm put in my email address and my password, and I'm going to click on login. I'm going to click on round cube. It seems to be a little more responsive with uh, getting these automated emails from Gmail. So click on round cube at the top here in the middle. And there you'll see my uh, Gmail confirmation email. Double click on that. And I want to take this confirmation code and I want to copy that to my clipboard. I want to go back here to the, uh, the actual, uh, I've got to go back to that, that uh, dialog box. So hang on just a second, which is right here. And I want to paste that verification code in or confirmation code. And you'll put it in right there. And once that's there, then you hit verify and boom, you're done. So now you'll notice that in the middle here, I have uh, my, my email address, mark at doggonemold.com has been added to my Gmail interface. You look over here to the left and you'll notice in the uh, uh, navigation here for your inbox and, and sent and drafts and all that, you'll see that it's been added here as well. And that's all there is to it. And uh, now when you log into your Gmail account to check your regular Gmail emails, you'll also have this account set here as well. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please let me know.